We're here at the Eldor Speedway for the Eldor 500. Here's how this race will work. We will have two three-lap qualifiers in which the top ten will advance to the 15-lap main event. Here's the starting lineup for the first qualifier. On row one, we have Clint Boyer and Jimmy Johnson. In row two, we have the 20 of Matt Kenseth and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Rolling off in row three, we have the 29 of Kevin Harvick and the two-car of Brad Keselowski. In row four, we have the 11 of Denny Hamlin and the 39 of Ryan Newman. In row 5, we have the 24 of Jeff Gordon and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Rounding out the field in row 6, we have the 9 car of Marcus Ambrose and the 55 of Mark Martin. The field's coming off at of turn 4. We're green flag racing here in Eldora. Jimmy Johnson's going to get a jump on the outside, followed by Matt Kenseth, who will clear Jimmy Johnson for second. One lap complete here in Eldora, and Clint Boyer is your leader. He's going to also lead the second lap with Matt Kenseth close behind. Kenseth's going to make a run on the inside. There's contact. Here comes Jimmy Johnson, and Jimmy Johnson will win the first qualifier here at Eldora. And now these are going to be the drivers that will advance to the 15-lap main event. Jimmy Johnson, Clint Boyer, Dale Jr., Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick, among others. Now this, we will get ready for the second qualifying event. Here's the starting lineup. On row one, we have Kyle Busch and Tony Stewart. In row two, we have the five of Kesey Kane and the 16 car of Greg Biffle. Rolling off in row three, we have the 99 of Carl Edwards and the 27 car of Paul Menard. In row four, we have the 22 of Joey Logano and the one of Jamie McMurray. In row 5, we have the 56 of Martin Truex Jr. and the 31 of Jeff Burton. And rounding out the field in row 6, we have the 51 of A.J. Allmendinger and the 10 car of Danica Patrick. And the field's green flag racing here in Eldora. Kyle Busch once again gets the outside line jump, and he'll lead the first lap here in Eldora. Tony Stewart's going to try to make a move on the inside, but Greg Biffle's going to make his way past him. White flag in the second qualifier. Biffle is closing the gap, but Kyle Busch is going to win the second qualifier here in Eldora. Let's take a look at the drivers that moved on. Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, Casey Kane, Joey Logano, Tony Stewart, Jamie McMurray, Carl Edwards, Paul Menard, Martin Truex Jr., and Jeff Burton. We're ready for the 15-lap main event. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. On row 1, we have the 18 of Kyle Busch and the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. On row 2, we have the 16 of Greg Biffle and the 15 of Clint Boyer. Rolling off in row 3, we have the 5 car of Casey Kane and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. In row 4, we have the 22 of Joey Logano and the 20 car of Matt Kenseth. In row 5, we have the 14 of Tony Stewart and the 29 of Kevin Harvick. In row 6, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray and the 39 of Ryan Newman. In row 7, we have the 99 of Carl Edwards and the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. Rolling off in row 8, we have the 27 of Paul Menard and the 24 car of Jeff Gordon. In row 9, we have the 56 of Martin Truex Jr. and the 2 car of Brad Keselowski. And rounding out the field, we have the 31 of Jeff Burton and the 9 car of Marcos Ambrose. The field's coming off at turn 4. We're going green flag racing again here in Eldora. This time, the outside line gets the restart, gets the big jump off the restart again. But Johnson's not giving up second place as Kyle Busch leads the first lap. Greg Biffle's going to try to make a move on Kyle Busch, but he's not going to be able to get to him right there as Kyle Busch leads another lap. He's going to try to pull away from Greg Biffle and lead, in, lead lap three. Now Clint Boyer moving into third. Ryan Newman also picking up a few positions. Kyle Busch is going to lead the fourth lap, and now Clint Boyer is going to make a move on Greg Biffle for second. Looks like he's going to get that position, and now looks to come chase out, down Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has led all the first five laps so far, but Clint Boyer is right on his bumper. He's going to lose a bit of ground there, but now he starts to catch back up. Seven laps complete here in Eldora. Clint Boyer a little bit behind Kyle Busch, but now trying to close the gap is eight laps complete now. The field goes by. Marcus Ambrose has not picked up a single position as Kyle Busch leads another lap. Here comes Clint Boyer to the inside, but he's going to wind up on the outside, and Matt Kenseth is going to make the pass for second. Ten laps complete. Now Matt Kenseth is going to try to take the lead. He's going to try to get around Kyle Busch. Oh, he's a spin. It's the nine car of Marcos Ambrose. Yeah, let's take another look at it here. You can see going into turn three, Kyle Busch just with nowhere to go and runs into the back of the nine. We're going green flag racing again. Four laps to go. Matt Kenseth once again gets the jump on the outside. Kyle Busch going to be running in second now with three laps to go. Clint Boyer going to pass Jeff Gordon for third as the field's coming around turn 
four are going to take two laps to go now. Kyle Busch is all over the back bumper of the 20 car. Can he get around him? White flag in the air for Kyle Busch. He's got one last turn to do it. Oh, he spins him. Matt Kenseth goes around. Kyle Busch goes across the finish line first. And Matt Kenseth gets turned around in turn four. Will not win this race. And we have just received word from NASCAR that Kyle Busch has been disqualified and Cliff Boyer will win this race. That's going to give Kevin Harvick second, Jeff Gordon third, Ryan Newman fourth, Casey Kane fifth, Jimmy Johnson wound up 11th, Brad Keselowski only picked up a couple spots to 14th, Matt Kenseth winds up 18th, and Kyle Busch 19th.